Okay, so here we go again. Um, this time we're going to be looking at calculating things using transformers. So here we've got our primary coil and you'll see it's got 300 turns on it. And we've got a voltmeter here measuring the potential difference across that coil. Um, we've got a secondary coil there with 600 turns on it and another voltmeter which I haven't yet switched on. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to work out what the voltage will be on this multimeter and then check it out. And we'll also be trying to work out what the current would be in the coil if um, we knew the current in another. Okay, and that requires using two equations that you are given on your exam, but it's just how to use them. Okay, so here we go. So if I switch my power pack on, you'll see that I've got a voltage or a potential difference across the coil or the primary coil of 3.2 volts alternating current and I need to work out what it will be on the second one. So what we need to do is use a particular equation and that equation is this one here. So I'm just going to move my camera so we can go through how to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the equation that I showed you and the equation in shorthand is VP so that's the potential difference across the primary divided by the secondary equals N primary over N secondary now V is the potential difference N N is the number of turns so number of turns so what we know is we know the number of turns on the primary and secondary because I showed you. So we know that VP divided by VS equals 300 on the primary turns and 600 on the secondary. Now even I can do that. 300 divided by 600 is 0 0.5. So VP divided by Vs equals 0 0.5. Now, we know Vp because we measured it. So we know Vp is 3.2 divided by Vs equals 0 0.5. And so if we rearrange that, 3.2 equals 0 0.5 times the secondary. Now, all I need to do, you possibly can do this in your head, but you could do one of two things. What times a half is equal 3.2 or go 3.2 divided by 0 0.5. So Vs equals 3.2 divided by 0 0.5, which equals 6.4 volts. Right, next thing we need to do is go and check that on the multimeter. So here we are back at the beginning. Here's our 3.2 volts and we predicted 6.4 on the secondary. So if I switch this on, there we go. It says 6.5 or, and so the reason that is is because this could be, for example, 3.24. And if you double 3.24, that's going to be 6.48, which rounds to 6.5. So we've got a margin of error in our measurements here, but you can see we did a pretty good job. The next thing we need to do is try to calculate current if we know it. So the next part of this is to work out the current if we know it in the primary coil. And so here's the question. What is the current in the secondary coil? if the primary current is 0 0.3 amps. And we need to use another equation that you are given, and that is this one here, VPI and VIS. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to write down the equation. So this is potential difference in the primary times current in the primary equals potential difference in the secondary times current in the secondary. Now, we knew the voltage in the primary, which was 3.2, and we also know 
the current in the primary, which is 0 0.3. We knew the V in the secondary, which was 6.4, but we don't know the current in the secondary. So first of all, we do a little bit of maths on this using our beloved calculators. And, okay, and so if we put these in, we see 3.2 times 0 0.3, and that gives us 0 0.96 equals 6.4 times IS. Just going to move this up a little bit. Therefore, in order to calculate the current, we need to divide 0 0.96 by 6.4 equals IS and that equals da, 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 da. zero point one five amps and so you can see that by we had a current of zero point three amps we've increased the voltage from three point two to six point four but that causes the current to decrease, which is great for um, take, transmitting electricity across the country because reducing the current means that we get less heat loss due to wires heating up and losing it to the heat to the atmosphere. Okay, well, I hope this helps. Good luck. <laughs>